Honda badge legend. Badge Honda badge legend. Legend badge Honda. Oh, legend. What a name. What a name. Yes, we have a beautiful 2003 Honda Legend V6 three and a half litre. Now, you really don't see these in Ireland. It's like 1600 euros a year just to put road tax on this thing. So, that's why they're not very popular. That's why you can get really cheap big engine cars in Ireland because they're too expensive to tax until they become a certain year age and blah 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 but anyway yes so i've already diagnosed this we have uh as you can see on the top we have i forgot the name of it an alternator <laughs> i saw that thing is called an alternator that we're gonna attempt to fit in this video it's kind of down there um it looks fairly awkward, but it's only really two bolts and a connection, two connections at the back. So, should be relatively straightforward, but I can see there's a few things in the way. Obviously, we're doing it in a little shed, so I'll be doing it like you're doing. No lifts, no nothing. But to be honest, I don't think this is coming out the bottom anyway. I'm going to have to remove the tray, possibly take these out of the way. Uh, just for a bit more room. I'm not 100% sure yet, but the first thing I need to do is get the bloody tray off. Right, I'm hoping this comes off. See, what happens a lot of times on my channel is when I work on cars, it's the first time I do pretty much lots of things because I've never worked on one of these, let alone I've never seen one of these cars. And uh, then you get some people, oh, you should have done this, should have done that, and I work on... You've got to remember, I don't see enough of one particular car to know everything about that car. So in other words, I don't have like, you know, 50 Mondeos. So I know all the problems with all the Mondeos and I know all the little tips and tricks. I kind of just go through it as I do it. And you can see that in my videos. I don't try and hide anything. Um, I also hope this comes off. I'm assuming it does. But I'm not thing about assuming. Oh, well, it definitely comes off. Oh, that, I've just seriously broken something. Which is, look, also another possibility. I'm trying to do it so I don't lose bolts. Now, dog can see the rabbit. Oh, what's that? I didn't take that off. I only took four off. Should there be five on here? Nope, there's only four on there. One, one, two, three, three, four. Right. Dog can see the rabbit. Let's undo. It's going to be a 12 mil because it's jack. Let's undo this. So what you would normally do on this type of alternator, because it could be a little start again. Because it isn't an automatic tensioner, you have to tension it yourself. Old fashioned way. I know we're being a caveman here. So this is your tension bar, basically. To tension it, you unscrew this bolt and then you screw this bar in or out, depending on what you need to do with it. Um, and that will actually tension the um, alternator. But what size is that? That's small. Right, let's whip this off first anyway. Right, and technically this is also one of the bolts that hold it onto the car because this bracket here, which is bolted down there, is the top bolt. So essentially, if that makes sense, let me get the new one here. The bolt we're about to loosen off is this one, but that's connected to the car from this heavy duty bracket which also holds it on and I'm hoping I can get it past that without having to take that completely off 
so I can only see one bolt to it. And that could be a nightmare. Oh, this is going to break. It's not good. Oh, this is not good now. See, simple jobs. Oh, that was too tight. That was scarily, scarily too tight for my liking. And if you want to know how I knew the alternator was gone, I've done a few videos on diagnosing problems with no charging. So you can check them out. Now essentially that's the top bolt loosened, but that bracket is going to be in my way. And I think I'm going to have to take it off. But technically now, we find the bottom bolt, which is directly underneath this, which is right here. I can only feel it. And presuming it's a 12 mil or a 14 mil, forget again, because it's jet. It's going to be one of them. I guess is most probably 14 mil. Yeah, the same as that one. Yeah, 14. Thought so. Nah. I don't know if I'm getting in the way, but right down here is the next one, which was nowhere near as tight as the other one. That should be moving. Yeah, it's moving now. This bolt goes all the way through. One thing you do have to be careful on any alternator, not so much on a new one because it's going to be pushed back, but this is a little locking tab. So this, as you put the bolt through here, it pushes out and it locks in. Now on a new one, it's going to be pushed all the way back. On, a, on the one you're taking out, it's easy to get out, but it's never easy to get back in. You have to push that back in. But I've seen people hit that with hammers and break off the tab. So you have to be very careful getting that back together that you don't smash the tab off. Now, can we actually lift that up? Take off the fanny belt, which you can. Now, this bracket definitely has to come off so like i said this bolt here is not a problem oh, wow it's loose yeah And when you tighten the alternator, make sure the bolt I'm taking off now isn't tight because sometimes this bracket has to move to slide. Now, this one, shit, this one is actually slotted at an angle, a semicircle, so maybe this one doesn't need to do it. But some of them of this style, you have to have the bracket loose and the alternator loose because they both move together to tighten it, if that makes sense. But now that's still solid. And where did me uh, adjust the bracket go? Right, this next bit I'm not going to be able to get you in. But we need to take off this 10 mil here, which releases these two um, wires because they just hold it on. Which then hopefully allows me, I think I can feel two bolts under there, I think. But I, I, I can only feel them, I can't really see them. So once I release that bracket, get them wires pulled out of the way, hopefully I can get to it 
this whole adjusting bracket then will come off and hopefully the alternator is going to come this way. That's, that's what I think. But like I said, I don't fucking know. Okay, I was right. And what I'm actually using is a flex head ratchet because they're just so handy to get into, th into tight places and awkward places. So we moved that bracket and I can see in this two 12 mil bolts there, but a little flex head ratchet will help you get into that awkward angle. Honda in their ultimate fucking wisdom put three fucking bolts under here and I just cannot get to it. I've had to go to a longer each socket because of the angle that it's at. And it's at such a weird angle. I can't get my fingers in. That's what she said. Unbelievable, the fucking bracket of the wires are in the fucking way. <sighs> so I just love to meet fucking designers. Just fucking slap the bastards. Because there's no need for this. Oh, come on. Is that a... Oh. Now, no. Oh, my God. The problem is the alternator is in the way. I cannot get the alternator any further down because it's hitting the, its own bracket and that bolt is just rounded off that. Oh, this is a fucking joke. This is a joke. How the fuck are you supposed to get that? It's, I can't get, if I could get the alternator down a bit more, that is fucking stupid. It's not even, <sighs> oh. I can't even get a spanner in there because of the angle. How on earth are you supposed to undo this fucking bolt? Fucking Hondas. Fucking hell. <sighs> Fuck this shit. <sighs> That's on, but... I cannot get the ratchet in. I only got one option here and I don't think that's even going to work. Right, this wasn't the route I was going to go down, but I changed my mind as I was looking for tools. So I'm going to use a quarter inch ratchet with a long reach socket because it's physically smaller in every way. But I don't know if it's still going to get on because of the angle. Again, flex head ratchet because it's going to be the only way. That's why you need so many tools joke being a mechanic is just an absolute joke right that is on there but 
Mm. Fuck. <sighs> Let's work. Extension. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, what's happened to the fucking ratchet? Go off, you fucking asshole. Now. Oh. Now it's just slipping off because the fucking angle this fucking fucking thing Finally I got it off I got it off with a spanner in the end <laughs> Spanner shaped like that because there's no other way Absolutely ridiculous if that was just five or six mil further up Not a problem and people say Hondas are built brilliant and they're this to that it's fucking bullshit Absolute bullshit. Anyway, now I can get to the plug at the back, which I've just got off, and get to the wire at the back, which I don't know, looks like maybe a 12 mil as well. And then hopefully, <coughs> see that's that little thing I was showing you on the other one, that little socket or that little plug is now stopping that from coming up. So we're gonna have to wiggle with that, but, um, Let's, I can't film it, but at the back of that, I'm going to get that bolt off and get the wire off, and then it's just a case of pulling it out. That's what she said. Right, I wiggled it so much. It's what women do if they had what we had. It's the first thing they would do. I know for a fact they just wiggled the shit out of it. And that's what I did. Now I can finally get to this bolt. I couldn't get to this bolt properly until I got it out. Well, I maybe could, but it's just a bit easier. 12 mil, like I said. There we go. original one Denzo we've got an original one to put back in not from Honda but um, still original manufacturer and there we go awesome oh no oh no that's not good why has it got it in there as well? Shit. That little tab I was telling you about is built into here. We need to push that back somehow. Oh, there's another washer here. What's some? Oh no, it's not. Ah, oh, great. I wanna get that back. Right, I'm going to do something a bit stupid here because I'm pissed off and I might as well film it and if I break it I can clickbait it. Everyone can call me names but I can get loads of money from it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, I wasn't doing it hard. Hopefully you saw that move back. You can see how shiny this is here now. So the alternator is just going to drop right in there now. Make my life a lot bloody easier. There's other ways of doing that, getting a socket and nut and bolt and, th and you know, screwing the nut in to pull that out when the head hits it and blah, blah, blah. That just takes too long. Can't be asked. I'm annoyed. Um, <laughs> yeah. Great. the wrong fucking alternator. Oh, fucking hell. I 
thought it looked different. We are back, we are back, we are back. A few seconds for you. I think only two weeks for me. And I remember that little shit. Yeah. As I'm trying to think what I originally said, I can't remember. I'm sure I said we, well, we did get one and it was the wrong one. So we had to get this one reconditioned because I uh, couldn't get one, essentially. Um, just couldn't get one. So recondition it is. Now, as you know from the last time of me uh, kind of having a discussion with the car, let's say. Now you can't really see too much, so let me kind of get a few little bits in and then we'll get the camera set up and hopefully you can be able to see what I'm doing. But the initial getting the alternator in and trying to get that in is going to be a bit bloody awkward because my hands are going to be in the way. All right, I'll see if you can see what I'm doing from this angle, but I have been trying to get these three little bolts on here. I've got the main bolt on the bottom, just hand tight, and I've got this bolt again. Well, it's not even hand tight, it's just in a few threads. But I couldn't get this to line up because there is a little cutout, or not a little cut, there's a little tab on the back of that, and that brings this straight. So I'm going to have to get this bolt in, I think, just roughly. It's not the, it is the right bolt, but it's not. Um, I need to put the adjuster on first, but I'm just hoping this will hold it for me, line it up, but it's not, because it's just proven to be a bitch. Come on. All right, what that's for is that stops the alternator going all the way back and hopefully brings that bracket straight, which then allows me, I hope, to get these fuckers in. Which, no, it just doesn't still. What a nightmare. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you can hear what I'm doing. Screaming and shouting and swearing is all about to come up. Now I've got one bolt in. The way I've done it is, I can't do it with my fingers because of the, Way it's recessed into the bracket so i just got a 12 mil socket and doing it that way but i've done the easy one first oh no what a dick oh, fuck i take all this off because i didn't put on the fucking wires what a knob. <sighs> Literally have to take out every bolt. Because I didn't connect the wires going to it. What a tit. So that's enough to come out. And then this is going to have to come out. Lucky enough I spotted it to be fair. I didn't go all the way. Because then I would have been pissed. Like seriously pissed. Right. Where is the wire? That's the connection. Where's the wire? Here it is, here it is, how do you do? Come on you bastard, where are you now? I need to pull back the rubber and put you down. Bloody hell. Hell's bollocks man. Right, like I said, look, I spotted it now. I'm not. I made it all back together. Let me get my ratchet.
Imagine putting, especially this one, above anyone, because it's so bloody awkward, without putting the wires back on. What a tip. There we go. Yeah. 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 Come on. What the fuck? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll put this back in. Is that in? Everything is blind. You can't see anything. <laughs> it's not in. Fuck you, bastard. And of course, I got it in first time when the wires weren't connected. Of course I did. I mean, of course. Is that in now? No. Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking. <sighs> now, that's in, is it? No, fucking hell, man. You fucking asshole! First time when I didn't have the fucking wires connected. <sighs> now nah, that's it. I just love being outside when it's minus two. Such a nice feeling. You're just there to stop it from going out. That's all you're there. Oh. Now, now for the bit I really don't want to do. The easy one first, just to get it to hold itself in some sort of um, angle, correct angle. Right. a bit better but I can assure you you can mostly see better than me this is the one that's the difficult one oh. Yeah. 
this is the one that I would seriously love to meet the fucking arsehole that designed this and let him do it because I guarantee you he won't be able to fucking do it and yet he gets paid a million times more than me and he's a fucking arsehole but then again I am a cunt so oh come on there we go it's in One thing, screwing it in by hand. It's another thing, getting a ratchet on there and actually. Oh, move this fucking thing out of the way. Where's the next one? Oh, come on, where are you? One, two, three. There we go. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Right, they're all in. Hand tight. Ooh, little shit. Right. I'm going to, I'm going to off camera, try and get them three bolts in tight this bottom bolt oh actually no i can't do the bottom bolt because this needs to move as i'm tightening it so i can tighten these three bolts and i can tighten this one because that doesn't have to yeah that doesn't have to move and then once we get the correct tension then we can tighten the bottom one because otherwise we're just fighting against the bottom bolt it's not going to be very good there's a tension on that pulley as well but i don't think we need to touch that so I'll just do that off camera. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I've got the fan belt on. The other tensioner we don't need, that's for the air conditioning and that's been disconnected. So obviously there was an issue with that. I don't know how many years ago or whatever, but so I haven't tightened the bottom bolt. I've tightened that bolt, I've tightened them three bolts. I've put the connections on. <laughs> and you can see here is our tensioner. So when you screw this, this, slides this up and down and allows the alternator to go up and down to basically tension it so i've now got to screw this in because it's not going to line up where it originally did because the belt is new i don't know exactly where it is to be honest oh it seems like it's quite a long way up Let's hope. Oh yeah, it's right at the top. So lucky enough, I can see the hole. Because sometimes you get a belt and they might have given you one that's slightly smaller, but it still technically works. It just makes your life a lot harder. Right. So that is now on. So what I've got to do, again, I won't tighten that fully. But now when I do this, this will be tensioning the fan belt. See the, the alternate moving? Now what I've got to do is do it with something. Hopefully one of my sockets will fit. It should do it. What size are we looking at? It's 5.5. No, maybe 6 mil. Yay! That makes things a little bit easier. Now what I've got to do is tighten this until basically i can only twist the belt 90 degrees the downside of these ones is they're not self-adjusting so every so often you have to adjust them i don't know if i can do it the right way now right you don't tighten this bolt and you don't tighten the bottom bolt allow the alternator to move freely and every so often just check it
So what will happen is if you tighten this bolt and the bottom bolt, the chances are you're just going to strip the threads out of this block and uh, you're going to be in trouble. We're getting there now. Bit more. We think that'll do. That'll do. Yep. Nice. Nice. Now this one's the easy one to tighten. The one at the bottom is a lot bloody harder. Yes, that done. The van at the bottom is a 14, which is right there. I need to get... I'll see if this one will do it. I will get a bigger ratchet. But on my quarter inch drives, I've got up to 15 mil, so this can just screw it home for me. Which it will do. I can put a lot of pressure on these, actually these ratchets so I'm not too worried about it but I will get a 3 8 drive especially for the bottom bolt just screw it home with this because we now need to check that the belt is the right tension only way to do that is temporarily put the battery in and start it because I think when I put the battery tray on I can't get to this adjuster, so I don't want to put the battery tray on yet. Maybe I can, I don't know. Let me get a different ratchet. Right, we got a longer socket and a 3 8 drive. Just give us that bit more leverage. I can more or less tell you now when I put the battery tray on I can maybe get to this but I can't really get to that handy so we're going to temporarily put the battery in where are my other battery connections Was it the alternator? And is it tight enough? It's going to check two things for me. All right, first thing is, will it start? Should do. No. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, he was right. And the fan belt doesn't seem to be squeaking. And it's putting a lot of power in that at the minute, so if it was going to be squeaking, it would be. Let me uh, do this, what I really love about this meter. Seven point six amps, 14 volts, we can put I can't really get to that one. Can't really get onto a copy, but you saw what I really like about this meter, you can see the voltage and the amps together, uh, which is handy for something like this. Uh, 5.8 now. So there we go. Lovely jubbly. He was right. And I also know the uh, fan belt is speaking. Put that battery charge up for a few minutes, then I'll stop the car and uh, put the battery on.
Right, there's a couple of little connections and stuff that I've put all on, so here's now just the battery tray. And then the battery brackets, which way does this go? I'm guessing like this. And I'm curious now, could I or can I? Oh, you can get to there. But the problem when the battery's in, oh, you may, yeah, you can get to there. So at least I thought of that, which is a good thing. Right, I think, is that it? 10 mils to hold it all down. I will use nature to help me keep this bolt in without it falling. So rather than using plastic, which is bad for the turtles, we'll use nature. Ha! <laughs> nature worked. Nature worked. <laughs> Using nature, I need to see where the hole is. There's the hole, there's the hole, how do you do? Yeah. Ah, nature worked again. Lovely. Thank you, nature. Now they should be lined up, that one is. Oh wait, hold on. That one isn't. Oh yeah. Ah yeah. Don't think we need to use nature now because this is just straight down. No nature on this one. And no nature on this one. Du, 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 du. Right. Yes, now. The tray on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! No, seriously. Oh, don't lose that. Come back to me. Oh, yeah, I knew this would be the problem. Oh. Don't want to bloody lose that. That's that tight. That's that tight. Boom! Sorted. Alright, can we get the battery in? The old Cameroonie out of the way. Yeah. Now the only thing is I do know is one of these was left disconnected because the car isn't used all the time, so I'm going to tighten up. Actually, no, I won't use tighten up the power. I'll tighten up 
Yeah, and can someone tell me why I'm tightening up the earth and disconnecting the power? There is a reason. I need to leave it loose enough so, yeah, I can go back on but still be tight enough to charge. Now, just these fellas now. Get that in there, take off that, put that down, and twist, and twist, and twist, there we go. Make sure it doesn't cross on the battery. Are you still in place? Yes you are. Thank you. Screw you down. Who are you doing? Ah, oh, you prick. Come on, there you go. Just stopping it from popping back out. To, the socket was only a short reach socket and it wouldn't go down there and I knew it wouldn't go down there but I still tried it so be honest how many people out there have done that knowing something's not going to work in front of you but you still do it anyway I needed a long reach socket or spawn or anywho we're now done start this bad boy up again let it charge Lovely! And to be fair, you can actually get down to the adjuster even with the battery on. Which does make sense, but... Just because it makes sense doesn't mean the car manufacturers do it. Right, there you go. It sounds as sweet as a nut. And, uh, I've done all the swearing and shouting, so you don't have to. I must admit, it went back on a hell of a lot easier than it went back off. Um, but still, I still don't like where that bolt was. It was still bloody annoying. It was still unnecessary. Still fucking stupid. I, it's just stupid. It's, it's just stupid. Um, but anyway, that's it. I have never ever seen one of these before. Uh, very rare to get a V6 uh, engine in Ireland. Especially of this year. Because the tax is ridiculous. Absolutely redundant, so that's why they're not really worth buying as such. Like 1800 euros or something, 1500 euros to tax for a year, road tax. Yeah, ridiculous. But as always, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, things up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, be handy. See you for the next one. Sorted.